Hello everyone. In order to write assembly code, we need an installer called DOSBox as well as MASM. First of all, in order to download uh, DOSBox, we will open the Google browser and write here download DOSBox. So you simply write this and click the first link. After that, you simply click on download now. After a few seconds, it will open. Now you can start your downloading here. Click on start download. So it has been completed now. Let's go to the folder. Here you can see that uh, DOS box is present here. Just double click on it. Click next, next and install. So installation is complete. Press the close button. After that, after installing DOS box, you, we can see its icon here. Just double click on it and the application begins. The DOS box is open now. We can see here that the default drive is Z. There is no such of drive in our computer. So we have to mount this DOS box to a present directory. In order to write assembly code, we need a microcontroller called 8086 microprocessor. So we have to download it first. Let's go to the link. This is the link I will provide in the description box. You can download here easily. So I have already downloaded it. I can show it in my drive. So here you can see the 8086 folder. This is the present directory of uh, this 8086 microcontroller, if you double click on it, we can see some, there is MASM in it. MASM is actually a Microsoft assembler where actually we can write the code. It's the purpose of this is to translate assembly language into machine language. Okay. So we can select this path. This is simple D colon backslash. So in order to change the directory, we go here, we will write mount and the present directory is D. So D space d colon and backslash this is backslash and just write 8086 so most of the people write c uh, as default uh, directory but we change uh, to d or any other folder you want you can just write the complete part for example d colon backslash some coal folder or any other folder you want just press enter uh, so d is mounted as local directory now we can also see that still we are seeing z here so just write d and colon hit enter after that just uh, write edit in order to do some coding uh, in the assembler so hit enter so here you can code your first program in the dos box in next video i will show how to enlarge the size of this docs box window and there's one problem and what is that let me close it first now uh, once i uh, run it again for example i am just double clicking on the icon again and what's the problem you can see that again the current directory is z it means every time we will run the uh, exe of dos box to write assembly code we will have to write mount command over and again so it will take too much time so it is better option to fix this problem because every time we run it we will see our current directory is the folder we want to code in okay so this problem solution will be given in the next video thank you